Good evening pupils. Welcome to our today's revision which comes from the topic distance, time and speed. Our question for today, Moroto left town Y at 8:30 a.m. for town Z traveling at a speed of 80 km per hour. If he arrived at Z at 10:45 a.m., what is the distance between town Y and Z? So here we have two towns, we have town Y and we have town Z. He left town Y at 8.30 a.m. and he was traveling at a speed of 80 km per hour. He arrived at town Z at 10.45. So here we are first of all going to calculate time. Time spent on the way. How do we get it? By subtracting uh, departure time from arrival time arrival time is the time he arrived at z and departure time is the time he left town y therefore we are going to say 10 45 minus 8 30 10 45 minus 8 30 so this is 5 minus 0 you get 5 4 minus 3 you get so 10 minus 8, you get 2. So he spent 2 hours 15 minutes, which is the same as 2 and a quarter hours when expressed as a fraction. So that is the time he spent on the way. Uh, to get the distance, to calculate distance, distance, the formula for calculating distance, we multiply speed times time we have calculated time to our two and a quarter hours we have the speed 80 kilometers per hour so how are we going to do to go about it we are going to say 80 times two and a quarter these are hours and these are kilometers per hour therefore we are going to say 80 kilometers per hour times you change this one to improper fraction whereby you are going to get uh, 9 over 4 you're going to get 9 over 4 so you're going to multiply here by 9 over 4 these are hours okay so this hour is going to cancel with this hour this 4 you're going to save by 4 1 and by 4 here, you are going to get 20. 20 times 9, you are going to get 180. Those are kilometers. So, the distance between town Y and the Z was equal to 180 kilometers. That is how we tackle that question. You just need to know the formulas you just need to know the formulas how to calculate time by subtracting departure time from arrival time how to calculate distance distance is speed times time and you just need to understand uh, the question and translate it into mathematical operations therefore you just need to subscribe to my channel uh, problem solving in mathematics and you'll be helped so subscribe comment and follow and you shall get more about different topics thank you